Good morning, and welcome to Great Little Tech. I would like to congratulate you for choosing and being accepted to our school. My name is Mr. Costa, and I'm an assistant principal at the school. You should know that I'm also very proud to say that I'm a graduate of Greater Lowell. In the next 10 minutes or so, myself, Mr. Beauchamp, who's an assistant principal, Mr. Santiago, who's also another assistant principal, and Mr. Versalone, dean of students at the school, will discuss some very important points about the student handbook. Please give us your undivided attention while we review with you those important topics. First, I want you to realize our number one goal. That is your success. If you have made the choice to attend Greater Lowell, we hope you will stay with us and eventually graduate from here. Upon graduation, we hope to have prepared you for, for a successful technical career or success in college. Many of our students also decide to enter the military and then pursue a technical career or college. Whatever you choose, you should be aware that working hard while at our school will enable you to have multiple options for your future. Please take advantage of all the opportunities that are offered here at Greater Lowell. Mr. Beauchamp, Mr. Versalone, Mrs. Santiago and I are located in the main office, which is on the first floor, right in front of the main entrance to the school. The main office is where you might go if you get lost, need to get dismissed, come to school tardy, or want to report a concerning incident or behavior by students in the building. We have an open door policy, encourage you to come see us regarding any issue that might arise. You should also be aware that you may be called to the office for positive reasons. For example, we recognize students who achieve honor roll status, are recognized in the newspaper for various reasons, or are caught doing good. Caught doing good is a slogan we have at the school for students who are witnessed by staff members displaying random acts of kindness or just good citizenship. Our school prom promotes college and career readiness, but also citizenship, which is just another reason that hopefully helps reinforce the, that you made the right choice in coming to Greater Lowell Tech. Mr. Beauchamp, Mr. Versalone, and Mrs. Santiago are going to review some key points of the student handbook. Still, you should try to do your best to read through those key points we review of the handbook so you're not surprised many policies that we have which may differ from the middle school or high school you just came from. At this time, I'll have Mr. Beauchamp, Mr. Versalone, and Mrs. Santiago speak to you and I will come back at the end of this video. Good morning, and welcome to Greater Law. My name is Mr. Beauchamp, and I'm an assistant principal at the school. As Mr. Costa indicated, we are a technical school that is trying to prepare you for both college and career based upon the technical area that you pursue. We have to do it in the same 180-day schedule that your sending schools attempt to prepare you just for college. For that reason, we have to maintain and hold you to high standards. Attendance is the first thing I want to discuss with you. It is very important that you attend school on a consistent basis. Greater Lowell is a great school, but if you don't attend regularly, you will not take advantage of the tremendous technical and academic education that you need to be successful. We have two types of absences at our school, excused and unexcused. An excused absence is something documented by a doctor or possibly a dentist. We understand that medical issues can come up and we do not want to punish you for those documented illnesses. Still, all non-emergency appointments must be done after school or at the least later in the day, allowing you to attend school for most of the day. Unexcused absences are absences not covered by a doctor or dentist. These are absences that have to be kept to a minimum if you want to be successful at Greater Lowell. We have an attendance policy that states if you exceed three unexcused absences in your quarter, your passing grades and any credits earned will be held. As you can see, this student exceeded the attendance policy last year, even though he passed all of his classes. His report card showed NC, which stands for no credit. To get those credits back, you'll need to have consistent attendance the next quarter. Luckily for this student, he performed better the following quarter and his grades and credits were restored. Now, our attendance policy does not mean that you can be out three days every quarter and be successful. That just means that we do not believe you can be successful with a pattern of three or more unexcused absences per quarter. Tardiness can also be problematic because you are missing a portion of the school day. Additionally, one of our school goals is to prepare you for the workforce. To accomplish this, we must take tar tardiness very seriously. For that reason, you need to come to the main office every time you are tardy to sign in and then have a brief meeting with your dean. You need to be in homeroom by 7.40, and at 7.47, your homeroom teacher will be posting your attendance. If you arrive after 7.47, you'll need to come to the main office to be marked tardy. Because we take tardiness 
so seriously, you should also be aware that four tardiness in a quarter result in an absence. This means that three unexcused absences and four tardiness in one quarter will result in your grades and credits getting held. If you're looking to get dismissed, first thing in the morning, you must bring in a note from home with a phone number that we can call to confirm your dismissal. Someone can also come in to dismiss you without a note, but that person needs to be on the emergency contact list that was filled out by your parent or guardian during the registration process. Those forms are important, not only for dismissals, but also in the case of emergency. Hopefully, this helps you to understand our attendance policy. Now, Mr. Burleson will be going over the discipline policy. Have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Beauchamp. Good morning, my name is Mr. Versalone, and I am a dean here at the school. I want to take a few minutes to review our progressive discipline policy with you, which might be very different from the school you came from. As both Mr. Costa and Mr. Beauchamp mentioned, we have high expectations for you as we are trying to prepare you for both college and a career of your choice. For that reason, you have to take your studies very seriously. This includes homework. If you do not complete homework, or you engage in problematic behavior in any of your classes, you may be asked by one of your teachers to stay after school. That teacher may ask you to stay with them for what we call a teacher detention, or they may ask you to sign into detention in the cafeteria located on the first floor. Therefore, it's important that you stay after when told to do so. Every day we have multiple buses that leave the school at 3 o'clock, so transportation should not be a concern if you want to stay after school for any club, homework assistance, or if you were asked to stay for mandated help or to go to detention. If your behavior needs to be addressed immediately, or you do not respond to the interventions your teacher has attempted, you may be asked to report to the main office to speak with an assistant principal or dean. Please make sure to report to the main office immediately after being told to do so. We hope that your behavior will not continue to be a problem as our goal is always to improve problematic behavior and to keep you in the classrooms so you can focus on your schoolwork. Respect for staff is very important, but respect for your classmates is also very important. One of the reasons most students want to attend Greater Lowell is because they know we are a safe school and we do not tolerate bullying. We have developed a culture where other students do not tolerate it as well. Students who witness or become aware of bullying incidents come to us all the time to report this behavior. We hope once you realize the culture here at Greater Lowell, you will also report incidents of bullying rather than becoming a participant in the bullying or just ignoring it. Concerns on social media such as inappropriate Facebook or Twitter comments are also addressed by us. Remember, your comments are not private, and if they impact students at our school, we will address them. Be very careful what you post or text, because it may end up on our desks. Hopefully this helps you to fully understand our progressive discipline policy. Now our newest assistant principal, Ms. Santiago, will be going over our electronics and dress code policies. Have a great day and a great school year. Good morning. My name is Mrs. Santiago, and I am an assistant principal here at the school. I will continue reviewing our progressive discipline policy with you today. As Mr. Costa, Mr. Beauchamp, and Mr. Versalone have previously mentioned, we will hold you all to a high standard because we want to set you up for success. The following items I will discuss are extremely important for you to remember as they are necessary skills to have in college and as you embark on your journey to your career of choice. My first topic is everyone's favorite, cell phones. <laughs> cell phones are only permitted before school, after school, and during lunch. During all other times of the school day, your phone should be turned off and put away in a backpack, locker, or other location where you are not tempted to take it out. Because cell phones have become such a distraction to students, teachers have been encouraged to collect phones at the start of class or shop. If you are asked to turn in your cell phone, Please cooperate with that request, as your teacher is only collecting phones to help ensure your success in that given classroom or technical area. If you need to contact a parent or guardian for an emergency, please utilize the phone in the main office or come down to the main office so that we can help you address the issue. Throughout the year, we have many phones that are confiscated and turned into the office. 
When that happens, your parents will often need to come to the school to pick up the phone. Please don't put yourself in that position. Lastly, the dress code at our school is important for you to understand. Please make sure to review this policy on pages 32 and 33 of our handbook. A few important points to be aware of. Shorts, dresses, and skirts must be no shorter than mid-thigh. Shirts need to have some form of sleeve. This means that tank tops are not allowed here at Greater Lowell. Crop tops may only be worn with a jacket or shirt, which covers the shoulders and extends to the waist. Otherwise, shirts that are unbuttoned or revealing of the chest are prohibited. And they cannot have any writing that promotes drugs, alcohol, or violence. Depending on the exploratory you are taking, you may need to wear boots or long pants. Make sure to listen to your exploratory teachers regarding the dress code for their shop or refer to our website for a list of exploratories with dress code requirements. Violations of the dress code can result in you missing out on valuable class time. Our best suggestion, if you are unsure if something is appropriate for school, don't wear it. Instead, err on the side of caution and try to find something to wear that you don't question. Remember, you want to behave and dress as though you were in a career where being on your cell phone often and dressing inappropriately isn't tolerated. I wish you all the best and I now leave you with Mr. Costa. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Santiago. I want to go back to something Mr. Versalone said earlier. He discussed that we are a safe school and we are very proud of that fact. Not tolerating bullying is one reason, but not tolerating vaping drug and alcohol use in our possession is another reason we have a reputation of being a safe school. A student who brings a vape, drugs, or alcohol to our school is showing disrespect to our school, and we don't have any tolerance for that behavior. No matter what types of behaviors you may engage in outside of school, you must always view our campus as an alcohol, tobacco, and drug-free area. This is for your safety and the safety of all the students and staff in the building. Please make sure you remember that. In closing, I want to congratulate you again on being a great Alol student, and I look forward to seeing you around the building. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope you have a great school year. Take care. <music>